I was sitting there with the water bubbling past me and I just knew that my calling was to try and mobilize people to get moving. I'm Robert Bruce, the founder of Got To Get Out, which is an adventure group social enterprise that's about getting people active and outdoors, uh, seeing the world, and doing good. And today, of course, we're doing good planting trees. These boots have seen some love. <laughs> My oldest, worst boots. <laughs> I grew up in the Hutt Valley of the Wellington region. Um, mum, dad, brother, sister, and I spent my days cycling, walking, hockey, all that stuff that boys do. My first business was a marketing company. So I ran Sublime for seven years uh, before I sold it. And, and for the next three years, I was working really hard, and, and then one day, it's over. I got an email and it said, hey Rob, see us at this time, and it's over. It was devastating and liberating. After that kind of experience, I just said, I need to get out of here. I've got to get out. <laughs> I've got to get out of New Zealand. You know, I'm a huge fan of Edmund Hillary. I think he's amazing. And um, I wanted to go follow in his footsteps towards Mount Everest. Going to Nepal was a really life-changing experience for me. It was the first time I travelled alone. I really just did it. I, I went up to Mount Everest Base Camp. You know, I was wearing all the gear. It was freezing cold. It was the middle of Nepal winter. I probably wasn't as prepared as I should have been. But I think there's something about turning off your phone, turning off your email, um, being in nature, having fresh air, that gives you incredible inspiration. My epiphany moment came when I was sitting beside uh, the Kumbu River. I was sitting there with the water bubbling past me and I just knew that my calling was to try and mobilize people to get moving, to get off the couch, to get off their phone, and to get into nature. As soon as I came back to New Zealand, I put my first event on Facebook, and I said, who's got to get out, join me. Um, and we went to Watomu Caves, I rented a bus, we went down, and I think like 25 people came on this first trip, you know. And that proved to me that there was an interest in this, that people were hungry to get outdoors, they wanted to make friends. A lot of people tell me they want to go hiking, they want to do stuff, but they haven't got the friend group. <laughs> and so I thought, I can be that. I'm going to be the connector. It hasn't always been smooth sailing or easy. Uh, my first trips sometimes had 30 people and sometimes had no people. And I'd be standing there at the start of the track, uh, you know, looking at my watch going, you know, who's coming? And if no one came, I just said, stuff it, I'm still going. And I'd photograph the trip and I'd, I'd do a video and I'd say, hey, you've got to get out here next time best trip we've done was going back to Mount Everest Base Camp. I took eight Kiwis with me. <laughs> Taking them back to the kind of spiritual home we've got to get out was really amazing. As an entrepreneur, when you take that plunge and fully commit, it is both scary and exciting and it's just amazing because you are completely in charge. And I think what that means is that the success or failure is on your shoulders. You've got no one to blame. Got To Get Out is New Zealand's only social enterprise adventure group. We're the only organisation that's getting people outdoors basically for free uh, in the way that we are. What I'm creating is domestic tourists, a domestic tourism model, where people who live in the country are starting to actually try out the activities that are in this country. So I'm trying to build this kind of community of outdoor lovers and I think it's got huge potential.